What's up you guys, it's Duck, back again with another video, and today let's talk about how I almost made $100,000 in sales in my first year running my clothing brand. And if you guys don't know, my name is Duck, and I'm the creator of Thomas Forever, and we specialize in creating you like a uniform, a forever uniform, and it's something that you can just wear continuously day in and day out without putting any thought into it. The pieces that we're putting out, um, they're standing the test of time, so that's the message and the plan behind Thomas forever. For today's video, I'm just going to be listing some things that I think that I did that helped me reach almost hitting $100,000 in sales for my first year in business. And this is more for the clothing brand owners or if you're just interested in having a clothing brand. It's kind of for like more if you already started. Um, if you guys need like the origins and like how to set up a website and like manufacturing and all that, I can do that in a separate video. Just comment below if you guys want that. So before we get started, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Help your boy get to 500 subscribers. We're trying to get there um, within by the end of the week. So help your boy out. So the first thing I want to talk about is like building up your own personal brand or clout. All right. So I don't know if this is a necessity or not, but I feel like it's more beneficial if you build up your own personal brand and clout first, and then you start your clothing brand. Because what I've noticed is, well, I feel like it could, it could be done either way, but I feel like there's more success stories for you to build your own personal brand then your clothing brand rather than just being somebody that's not really having a like social media presence and then they're starting their brand and their brand pops off and then people follow their personal account because i don't see anybody talking about this but like if you're popular and you have clout and you are known to dress well have a nice aesthetic and nice vibes and lifestyle people tend to be you know influenced by that and want to follow you and want to support you rather than just being somebody random and then who is going to support a random, you know what I mean? They need to kind of have some type of connection and see what you are up to. And then for me, in my situation, I was nobody on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok, I was just posting a bunch of trends. Instagram, I would post like every um, important um, event or something like that. But then I started posting more on TikTok and gaining a following. Um, I started posting on Instagram more fit pics and I started gaining more following. And this helped my brand gain more followers as well and more supporters because people fucked with me and you know they like my fits and shit like that so then they supported the brand and a bunch of my fit pics were like me wearing the brand's clothes so then that uh, people saw that and was like oh you know that's a cool piece oh i like that i might i could pull it off too so then they support me and then they support the brand as well and you know it goes hand in hand and then building up your own personal brand and clout it's not easy either um, i'm still struggling to do so um i'm trying to grow my instagram account to 10k followers i'm only at like 2300 right now and i'm been stagnant for so long so it's tough tiktok as well it's kind of you know the algorithm kind of fucks with you hates you i'm struggling with tiktok right now but you know just gotta keep pushing keep posting try to do new things here and there and like i said this was beneficial for me hopefully it can help you guys too all right so for my second thing that i think you guys should understand is let's talk about community i feel like a lot of clothing brand owners, they, they're just trying to sell pieces rather than building a community. Um, I learned this from um, like Amy Leon Dor, Kif. They both have like a faithful community that just continues to support them no matter what. And that's what I'm trying to understand as well. And that's what I started implementing rather than just taking product shots on the ground and selling it like that or selling mock-ups. I started telling stories. I started, you know, showing behind the scenes, stuff like that. So you could build a community build a community who will continually support you, give you advice, criticize you, just so that, you know, cause you're in, it, you're in it for the long run. It's not no fast money. You know, hopefully that's not what you're doing it for, but you know, you're trying to build it for the long run and you're trying to build a community that's gonna be supporting you throughout the way. You know, once you have that community, make sure, you know, since they support you, you support them. They scratch your back, you scratch their back. Make sure you give them, you know, you give them uh, discount codes, free products at times, stickers. Just take care of your people that take care of you. You know what I mean? And then also for me, um, with my examples, I, once I started putting more messages behind my products and my releases and like campaigns, they were doing better. For example, the Kanye shirt was based off his Grammy speech and the message behind the shirt was to chase your dreams with no regret. I guess we'll never know what our lives would be like if we didn't take that leap of faith that was the message behind it people loved it i love that shirt either you know even though he's on some crazy shit still but still the, the meaning of that shirt is the most meaningful thing that i've released as like a product because that's literally why i dropped out of school that's literally why i'm doing what i'm doing is because that grammy the speech the shirt it just all formed into one and that's why i have 
Thomas Barber. Whenever you show vulnerability and a message that people relate to, it's easier to support and people will just gather behind you and you know buy your products and help you build your brand up. All right, lastly, I wanna talk about marketing. And when it comes to marketing your brand, I feel like the most beneficial thing for you guys is that the brand needs a face. For example, when you think of like Thomas Forever, you either think of me or you think of my girl. And you know, Thomas Forever was my dream and I wanted people to be part of it. And that's going back to talking about community. At the end of the day, people buy from people. People would rather support like a product or something whenever there's like a recognizable face attached to it. And speaking of like a recognizable face, this can be said about influencers. Understand the influence of influencers. You know, they're influencers for a reason. They put us on, they, you know, they rock a product and then we, you know, we're interested in it, but oh, that looks good on them. And then, you know, we were like, all right, where y'all get it from? So then, you know, let me put it on too. Cause I think it will look good on myself. You know, that's the power of influencers and the power of people because I'm not saying the world is like a sheep type of uh, mindset, but at the end of the day, when something is popular or something is good, you know, people tend to fuck with it. And, you know, when it comes to my scenario, I let some of the homies get free stuff. And yes, it hurts my profit margins and all that. But at the end of the day, it's better in the long run because if I believe that they'll enjoy the product, they're going to gravitate it towards it naturally. And they're going to wear the product, take pics in the product. And then other people are going to like their followers and supporters will see them. And then, you know, it's a cycle. And then those people will come towards me. So that's how I build the brand up a little bit as well. But like I said, the bottom dollar at the end of the day, when you're growing in the beginning, Feel like profits don't matter as much it's more about getting your name out there you know building a foundation for yourself giveaways will help with marketing as well make sure you guys make it interactive let me give you all the, uh, the game make it interactive by like you know having them like share repost comment a bunch of times whoever comments the most you know let them win you know pick a bunch of winners well i tend to give like two to three winners as well so each comment is um an entry and then you know get the other ones by random but the one person that comments the most make sure they win because you know they put all in that effort and time you know reward them but you know this drives the engagement up and then that helps with the algorithm with more people seeing the giveaway and you know more people see the giveaway you know the better for your brand all right, that's all from you guys. Comment below any other questions you have. I'll either um, answer them in the comments with y'all or I'll make another video, part two, part three, whatever you guys need. But I appreciate you guys for all the support. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Peace.